Hi dear friend, how are you doing? So I missed you a lot because it's been a lot since I have posted something new and by the way, so you may think that uh, so the last episode was uh, episode number 7 and now it is actually uh, 7 episodes that are uh, somehow missed in this place but uh, I just wanted you to know that uh, there are some premium videos that I actually I have put on my coffee shop so in those videos I have uh, actually gotten the app that we have made in the last episode to the next level we have added a lot of things so we have made it close to whatsapp so it's in, in a way so but uh, this place is still actually uh, big and we still have a lot of things to do and uh, all of uh, uh, th the upcoming videos are going to be actually uh, full of value to you so you will be learning tons of things but before you actually move on make sure you got you actually you you get that uh, video pack which we will which you will find actually in the description of uh, this video so go and get it it is super cheap get it and you will be actually learning a lot of things that you cannot find on youtube so go there get those seven videos out and uh, improve your skills and take them to the next level so with that said let's actually get into uh, the topic of this video but as we used to do don't forget please to uh, join our community so we are going to be so happy to have you uh, as a part of this uh, family which is the learn no code uh, family so uh, you can do that uh, for free so just uh, Go down subscribe to this channel and also if you have already done that which i really appreciate don't forget to turn on the bell icon so if i post something new on this channel about app development and how you can build apps with flutterflow you will be the first one to be notified so if you like that so i want you to get that so go now subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so we can get started so do that and let's go so now let me actually show you a proof of what we have done so by the way uh, the layout of this video has actually been changed so i tried to add this background as you can see here and uh, i am here on this uh, side so if you like the way this actually this looks so let me know in the comment section and if you have an idea of another layout or design of this uh, uh, videos that i make for you guys then i highly encourage you to leave your opinion and feedback in the comment section i'm really interested in knowing what you like so i can do i can actually give you uh, a good experience so let me know what you like and what you can uh, actually uh, or, or how you can improve the the way I make tutorials so make sure you put that in the comment section but uh, uh, with that said let's know actually I want to just uh, I want you to take a look at what we have made so far in the premium video pack that I have just talked about uh, in the intro of this video so again the link will be in the description so you can go and get it so uh, here it is the same as we have done nothing was new but the new thing is that uh, inside the chat so uh, if we go that uh, there inside the chat you will see that here we don't actually we don't just uh, add the messages by the way so here we have like a whatsapp uh, uh, messages kind of so uh, here we have the date and here we can scroll up we can see uh, the old messages so uh, maybe there are no so yes here we have the one the ones of the authentication user in green so this is the same as whatsapp you know and the good thing is that we can now add images that is the greatest thing that i have made in that video pack and that we i have actually taught other people how to do that so make sure you join those uh, that, that group of, of people so you can take your skills to the next level so this is all for you so here as i told you you can add images and send uh so you can send a message and link it to an image or you can send just an image so all of this will be uh so you'll be see how it works when we go are going to move on to the testings testings of uh, this app but now i let me ch show you other things that we have done so here we, if we i have added a status uh, feature so uh, here for example i have a chat with leo as you have seen here i only have uh, a chat with leo now i can see his status right so i can click there so i can see uh he said so he he put he put this he said this is my new image so which is my image uh, obviously and here uh, so uh, there are a lot of so this was just a mistake because leo has uh, so many uh, copies of the same not the same but this was not the, the same as the previous one but you know uh, leo has a lot of things or uh, should i say statuses and you saw that so this was just uh, so for those who have uh, s who have seen 
the problem I had with this green circle. So when it is green, so you you, this means that you have already seen the stitches, but this is the opposite of it. So it is just a conditional action. We will be switching that uh, to the opposite side. So, you will ha so if you have gotten that video pack, you will see the problem I had with that. And it is not a big deal. You can deal with that anyway. So here, as I told you, we can see stitches. We can add our own stitches. And now today we are going to just improve this uh, option here we want to be improving that and taking it to actually the next level right so this is pretty much what we have done here as you can hear you see click here you can add your own status and uh, uh, here you can add chat you can go and uh, grab someone and have a chat with so this was all all of this was actually in the previous episodes but the i highly encourage you get the video pack it is packed with a lot of value and uh, if you take a look at its price you will be amazed because it is very cheap so you can get it and increase your uh, skills and take it to the next level so uh, this was so this part of this video was just to show you some uh, additional features that we have added uh, to, to this app so you can know what we are going to work with and uh, so now let's actually move on to the next step which will be uh, just adding some new options and uh, upgrades to the status options or status tabs in a way so we are going to be upgrading some stuff there and uh, so you will have fun and i'm sure you will enjoy that so now let's actually move on to the next step so my dear friend here what i actually wanted to show you now is that so uh, something that was actually uh actually i haven't done in the i have forgotten to add it in the video pack but uh, fortunately you will get it here uh, in this video so here so what we have done here so here we have a users and now we can actually add uh, something to that uh, user so here we have a new collection that is called statuses so all of that was in the video pack there is no need to repeat it but there is something new that i have to add uh, which is that i want to add the status right the status is this time will be uh maybe we can status mode which will be a boolean and this means that uh, uh, if a user has statuses that are actually live there so this will be on or true and if uh, the status of that user was actually were, were gone were deleted because as you can see here so if we so i wish to tell you what happened here we add the status here we wait for this amount of milliseconds and in in total this is 24 hours and as you uh, in instagram or whatsapp you add the status and after one day it it is deleted so this is the same approach uh, kind of approach so here we delete the one that we have just created we use the reference to delete that so uh, but there is something that we can do so here so after we have created a new status so uh, what will happen is that we are going to be actually so what we are going to be doing is to add another field here we are going to use that because uh, this is how it works right so for this we have so the, the this next field that we are going to be adding there will be useful uh, because it, and it will be actually linked to this one so you will see that they are going to be somehow uh, the same and they are going to work together to uh, get us the result that we are actually looking for so uh, what to do here is that just to add stasis status sorry uh, number or count if you like so count uh, is a good uh, name for this so it's going to be an integer because we cannot have one status and a half we can only have one two three so on right so uh, so i have just added that now we can go back and actually let's skip uh let's actually go here so after we have created a certain status so we have added a new status so now what will happen is we are going to uh update our document so we had the document then we are going to be increasing uh, the number of statuses that we have right so we are going to be uh, updating the document uh, sorry for that so update the document here so uh, what we are going to be updating is our own document right here so we can confirm so what is the field that we can actually we or the thing that we need to update it is very simply it is the number of uh, status so with the status count will be uh, incremented uh, uh, each time we add a new status so we are going to choose this option here and can come down and choose increment by one so maybe we can actually copy this because it is going to be useful so here so here when we create we increment and 
when we delete we decrypt it right so that is it so after something that was deleted or a status was deleted so we can decrement that value from there right so here uh sorry because i had just to paste it here so we can delete this and we can paste that there right and the only thing to change is to the operation so it's going to be decrementing by the same value so here sorry for that guys so uh what's going to happen here is simply so uh there's an error so just so we go back here so now it is, there's no errors anymore so here we have decremented so let's say we had three statuses and now we have all of them were deleted so uh, what will happen is that we are going to first so here we are going to be adding a conditional action so guys uh, the overall uh, action chain may sound a bit uh, confusing for some of you but if you understand it correctly if you broke it down uh, as it has to be broken down so you will be understanding everything but from my side i will be making things easier for you to understand if you have any questions or or problems or issues make sure you put it in the comment section and if you want exclusive answer and help you can check out my coffee page uh, you, you will find that in, with with the benefits you can find it there again the link in the description so now what's going to happen here after we have documented the number of stitches we are going to actually think so if the statistics was one or the status count was one now it is zero so if it's zero then the status mode has to be off or false because there are no statuses then the status mode has to be off right so here we can add a conditional action we're going to say if right we are going to see if the the single action we are going to say that if uh the the status count was equal to zero was null there is there are no statuses nothing to see there so if that was the case if that was true which is this branch or this sign of branching kind of so here we can add an action which will be uh simply uh it's going to be updating again the document we are going to update our own uh, document but this time so first let's update our own document but the the thing that we can update is different because we will be updating the status mode so now the, uh, the status count is zero now this status mode has to be false just like that right so but there is the last thing to do actually is to come here over here so when you would when actually you create a document so we are going to create a new document again you will see that if for example let's say you will be creating you will be you will just add in a certain status but the question is that sometimes uh, so here you need to check if uh, the, the status count was uh, let, let's say so I will just uh, just show you that so uh, after we have added a certain status here so you may want to actually update the document so which is gonna be again updating our own document so uh, the thing that we are going to be updating this time is the same as the previous uh, step so sorry for that again guys so which are, we are going to be actually updating the status mode it's going to be it's going to be actually this time true because when you add a certain uh, uh, status so you have more than one status so uh, it is for sure you have one so e either you have one or more than that so if you can have let's say two statuses you add one it becomes three then this should be actually true you know this is actually what you need so for this now uh, some of you may say that all oh, you have done some some complex stuff by uh, by, by the way so this don't worry this is just a custom function that needs to be re com compiled anyway it doesn't actually matter but uh, you may say that uh, the th this action chain is first complicated and you see that we have eight actions but uh, all of, of what we have done or actually what I have done with you here is that uh, uh, it will be actually useful and you will be see uh, its utility in the next step where I will be showing you the area of its application or utility so now let's actually stop so uh, before you move on to this step make sure you uh, understand this step correctly I have already broken it for you to help you understand as fast as possible so if you do if you do appreciate uh, the way i make hunt for you then just uh, take two seconds of your time hit that like button and also if you have a question 
put it in the comment section and if you like this content to be seen by other people then do yourself a favor and uh, uh, share this content with your friends and family or on social media so we can spread this content and reach as much people as possible so we can grow this uh, learn no code family so with that said let's move on to the next step so what we are going to be doing here is to make some changes right so uh, some things were actually really crazy but don't worry it's okay to make mistakes and it's really not that not a big deal so here so I will come uh, down here so here as you saw I had an error which I, I hope it is still here so for example Leo has uh, so many statuses and all of them were actually listed here so that is what we don't want we want to see just Leo we can click there we can see a carousel or an image slider of all of his uh, statuses and we can do the same for each user but uh, this is completely not what you need to do right so let's go back here and let's change some things there right so the thing that we need to change is very simple right so uh and you will like it i promise so uh, uh what we are going to be doing first so here for this list view uh, you see here in the back end i have made it the status i am now showing the statuses that is why i have seen all of this the, all of uh, the statuses regardless of their uh, owner right so but now what I'm going to be doing this time is to take the users, right? And not all of the users are going to be taken into consideration. So the first filter, so we're, we're going to be using some filters. So first thing, those that you want to see here are those that you are engaged with. So I will be adding the first filter, which is, I will say that if the user ID of one of those here has to be in inside my list, which is called engaged with so if he is there in that list then he is allowed to be seen there so we can say here maybe we can uh, uh, actually click here uh, and then click here and so you can just confirm confirm and you can close that and you have the first filter now those that you are engaged with can be seen there but the second condition is that so you maybe have a chat with someone and that someone may not have actually a status or his status mode is off or is uh, yes he's off or false something like that so that is why i have made that field because i will be using it right here so uh, the status mode of those that can be shown here uh, should be uh, actually equal to uh, true so we need to have that uh, uh, specific uh, uh, status mode that, uh, that should be on we can now confirm right so a lot of things has will be changed here you can see it from here we have seven errors and that is totally fine we can fix that uh, uh, in just a second right so now we have actually made that but there is one issue another issue right so uh, here as you can see here in the back end we have taken all the users and here those filters are not enough this, so the third filter or condition visibility should be uh, when we are going to be excluding ourselves out of this backend call we are going to take ourselves out of this of the out of that so the user id again should not be equal to not equal to ourselves right our so because we don't want to see ourselves that here is where we can see ourselves we can confirm so those three filters are really useful and uh, uh, they are very good to to use so let me first uh, actually correct these mistakes but uh, just as i promised you so i tried to actually i will be trying always to make shorter videos so this is going to be actually out of the out of uh, this the length of uh, the the video the videos that i want to make for you to not uh, get you overwhelmed so may this at this stage we have learned a lot of things so uh, all the other stuff are going to be available in the next episode so uh, i don't know when you are when are you watching this video so if that video or the next episode was already posted it will be it will appear uh, in the last 10 seconds of this video so uh, thank you so much for watching if you find it helpful and uh, i really appreciate you give it a like and also you share it with your friends and family so we all of them can join this no code community and no code family so we can help each other and learn no code in no time so with that said thank you so much my beloved friend for watching this video and for your time and attention and see you on the next video